Let the good times roll. By the time you finish watching this video, you'll finally be able to beat this race and come in first place, all by yourself. If you're thinking about refunding or uninstalling Mafia Definitive Edition, don't. At least wait until you watch this entire video. Unfortunately, too many people have refunded or uninstalled this game because they couldn't pass this racing mission, even after lowering the game's difficulty to easy. These people missed out on Mafia Definitive Edition's excellent story. If you have been playing this game on classic difficulty up to this point, then do not lower your game difficulty. I cannot stress this enough. If you lower your game difficulty even for one second, you will not get the Made Man achievement. You will have to start a new game all over again on classic difficulty. To receive the Made Man achievement, you have to complete all 20 story missions on classic difficulty. Anyways, here's how to unlock the supercharged achievement. First things first, if you are not playing on classic difficulty, then make sure simulation mode is off. Simulation mode makes driving difficult. If you are playing on classic difficulty, then keep watching this video. Tip number one, don't hit any cars. At the beginning of the race, just keep driving straight and move to the right side of the racetrack away from all the cars. Try to avoid hitting any cars. If you hit a couple of cars, then it's not a big deal. But overall, you should avoid physical contact with the other drivers because they can cause your car to spin out. During the first turn, stay all the way in the back. The only time you should be in last place is during the first turn, to avoid physical contact with the other cars. Tip number two, slow down before turning. If your car keeps spinning out when you turn, then that means you didn't give yourself enough distance to slow down. Let's use the first turn as an example. You should begin to press the brake button once you see the stone wall on the left side. Once you see it, tap the brakes quickly. If you try to slow down after the stone wall, then your car will spin out since you came in too hot. You have to give yourself enough distance to slow down in order to turn properly. Tip number three, don't hold the brake button. Instead, tap it quickly. This is the most important tip. Do not hold the brake button to slow down. Instead, rapidly press the brake button. This isn't Grand Theft Auto. This is Mafia. If you hold the brake button when turning, then your car will spin out. Tapping the brake button allows you to maintain stability better around corners with higher speed. Tip number four, cut across the grass. A lot of people have told me this tip helped them win the race. In the race, there are two locations where you can cut across the grass. The first location is immediately after the first turn. If you cut across the grass in this specific location, you can go from 15th place to 13th place. That's two cars you just overtook. After cutting across the grass, stay on the right side, and the second location to cut will be directly in front of you. As you can see, I went from 15th place to 3rd place just by cutting across the grass twice. And keep in mind, I was in last place after the first turn. These are the only two places where you can cut across the grass. There is a total of three laps, so if you cut across the grass three times in both these locations, then you are guaranteed to win, even on classic difficulty. Tip number five, press the ram button when turning. A lot of people have had success with this tip. Honestly, it feels like a cheat code. To avoid spinning out or hitting a wall when turning, press the ram button. Mafia Definitive Edition introduced the ram feature in the very first mission, an offer you can't refuse but the RAM function still works here. If you have Xbox, press the A button when turning. If you have PlayStation, press the X button. Press the RAM button when turning to avoid spinning out or hitting a wall. Using the RAM button during turns helps you regain control, especially if you feel you're sliding out. Tip number six, center vehicle for speed. The less you turn left and right, the faster you will go. Try to drive as straight as possible to increase your vehicle's speed. Tip number seven, watch out for scripted events. There is a total of 15 opponents in the race. In the beginning of the race, one car is broken down since Tommy sabotaged it the night before via Lucas Bertone. This leaves 14 cars on the racetrack that you have to pass. The race has a total of three laps and in each lap, one car is scripted to break down. In lap one, the scripted car breaks down during this turn. In lap two, the scripted car breaks down at the bottom right here.
And in lap three, the scripted car breaks down right here. It's useful to know where and when these three cars break down because you don't want to accidentally crash into them and lose the race. Tip number eight, use the steep incline. Near the end of the racetrack is a wide curve on an incline. Use the steep incline to your advantage. Go to the farthest right and hug the white line. Make sure to not hit the wall. Due to the decline in your car's momentum, you will get a speed boost that can save you a lot of lap time. After you descend, make sure to keep your vehicle straight as possible to build up even more speed. If you're in first place, make sure to press the rear view camera button because after the steep incline, the AI racers will try to overtake you. So just stay in front of them and you're guaranteed to win. Just be cautious of the scripted event during lap three where one of the racers will break down in this area. You don't want to crash into them and lose the race. These eight tips are guaranteed to help you win the race in chapter five, fair play. If this video helped you win, then comment below. And if you know someone struggling with the race, please share this video. Tell them, Mafia Game Videos sends his regards. On a side note, if you thought this race was difficult, then you would hate the original Mafia game from 2002. Mafia The City of Lost Heaven has a total of five race laps instead of three. And all 12 opponents are actually trying to win. It's not like the Mafia remake where one car is scripted to break down each lap. In the original Mafia game, there are no grass shortcuts to cut across, and there is no ram feature to make turns a breeze. Compared to the remake, the original Mafia game's race is much more brutal. For all the people complaining that the race in Mafia Definitive Edition is difficult, you should be grateful Hangar 13 didn't make the race a one-to-one -one exact copy of the original, because the original version is unforgiving and will not hold your hand. I've read so many comments where people said they refunded Mafia Definitive Edition because they couldn't pass the racing mission. At least now, with the help of this video, everyone can win the race.